This is a 1974 Di Tommaso Pantera. The objective here was to bring the car into the new century, fuel inject it, jettison the old Autolite carburetor, which was really a, a pain in the butt to tune, and fuel inject the car and uh, at a reasonable cost. And that was done using the Holley Commander 950. This is system. what the setup looks like all fits pretty neatly underneath the hood and it works very well and we're going to fire it up here and take a look at some of the operating parameters on the computer now on the instrument cluster here what I did was I jettisoned the radio and I put an air fuel mixture meter there so we can keep real-time monitoring of how the uh, system is running and this actually has a wideband oxygen sensor in it and it operates pretty good and the radio was kind of academic since you couldn't hear it anyways. Okay, let's fire it up here. Of course it hasn't been run for a while like most of these cars. Try to do that with your carbureted car. information you can see just a fraction of it but basically we're looking at the fuel map here that's given us some of the operating conditions so at cold you know we started up at an air fuel ratio of a little over 12 to 1 and you can see it's still running open loop but uh, you get the idea all kinds of information at your fingertips here with instant tunability and if this looks like something that's of interest to you you can go on Mike Daly's Pantera Place, www.panteraplace.com, click on technical information, fuel in engines, and uh, fuel injection, and you'll find the details all laid out on how to implement fuel injection, this same system, on your Pantera.